Good evening. My name is Tim and my name is Alex and these are the latest news. This Friday, Mount Shinraki, an active volcano, erupted in Japan, causing black clouds of ash to rise up as high as 9 kilometers into the air. Mount Shinraki lies on an island called Kushinoirabijima. The island is located 130 kilometers off the coast of Kyushu, which is the third largest island in Japan and what we commonly see as the country's southern tip. Most of the island's residents were evacuated by boat and only minor injuries have affected less than a handful of people. Moving on from Japan, a teacher was executed in China today for sexually abusing his students during the years 2011 to 2012 while teaching in a school in the Gansu province. The teacher had raped or otherwise sexually abused 26 girls. The victims' ages ranged from 4 to 11 years old and they were all abused multiple times. The news of the man's execution was met with widespread approval over Weibo, China's microblogging platform. Some comments said that death was too easy a punishment for this man. Ten people have been killed in Baghdad by car bombs on the 28th of May. The explosions happened just before midnight, the first one hitting the Babylon Hotel near the Tigris River and the second one hit the Ishtar, which was the former Sheraton Hotel. According to the news agency, at least 30 people were injured in the bombings and at least another 10 have already died. The BBC's news correspondent tweeted that she also heard gunfire. The police said that they were trying to defuse a third car bomb in the parking lot of the Babylon Hotel. Both of the hotels have been hit by coordinated car bombs before in 2010. In Europe, the UK's Prime Minister David Cameron is holding face-to-face -face reform talks about the EU with German Chancellor Angela Merkel. The PM has yet to reveal the full details about the reforms he's pushing for, but a German businessman has already told other politicians not to listen to him. Currently, the PM has already talked to both Poland's and France's foremost politicians about the reform, though yet there is no information on whether he succeeded in persuading them. That is all for the international news. Over to you, Tim. Thank you, Alexander. Now over to national news. Snapchat, a reason for death. 19-year-old Adil Harun took his car 230 kilometers an hour and wanted to brag about it. While driving, a sent a snapshot with the text Leads to Rock Day, 11 minutes, catch me. A couple of hours later, he drove his car against red and hit another car. In the car was 25 year old Joseph Brown Larty, who died in the crash. The 25 year old car was cleaved in the middle. A murder investigation has been launched after two men were stabbed in Birmingham. A call came into the police at 3.09 a.m. where a bypass was found two men lying on the ground, unconscious and bleeding. Only one man had alive from the scene. The survivor had arrived at the hospital with severe injuries. The victims are believed to be in the late 20s. The police are saying they are doing everything, everything they can to find a suspect or suspects. The police have questioned every household if someone knows anything about the murder. Moving on, doctors are now saying that 1 out of 5 cancer deaths are caused by obesity. Obesity could eventually replace smoking as the leading cause for cancer. The warning was first given at the world's biggest conference for cancer, where it was revealed that obesity kills tens of thousands of people every year in Great Britain. The same warning was given to the American people, that obesity slowly starting to be the most common preventable reason for cancer. Three boys were taking a shock at home in near Basildon, Exodus, when two of the boys got stuck in mud. The mud reached up to the waist. Firefighters, Coast Guard, police helicopter and RNLI were sent to find the boys. Two hours later, the boys were pulled from the sludge. The RNLI had to use hovercraft and the different crews had to use teamwork to reach the boys, who were 20 feet from land. The boys were suffering from shock and cold and were instantly put in ambulances. Now all to sports with Johan. Thank you, Tim. We begin with Premier League. Chelsea dominate the whole season 
this year too, and made their way to the title. Manchester City and Arsenal had a great race behind Chelsea for place number two. And Manchester United just confirmed that they will be number four and save the Champions League place for next season. But it was a hard way this season for United. They had a tough race versus Tottenham. Arsenal won the, won the number 12 AFA Cup title. They won the final with impressive 4-0 versus Aston Villa. La Liga. Xavi Hernandez is moving away from Barcelona this season. He did his last game versus Deportivo, but he couldn't finish his time in Barcelona with a victory because Deportivo did one of their greatest matches this season and played impressive 2-2. Madrid. In 23rd May did Erdogan be a wasted entrance on Banabu, Madrid, when he changed with Cristiano Ronaldo. Barcelona won the 23rd La Liga victory this season after a, a pretty impressive spring season. Barcelona also won the Copa del Rey. They won the final versus Atletico Bilbao with the 3 1 of the Lionel Messi score twice and Neymar scored the third goal. This was Barcelona's 27th victory in the cup. Champions League. FC Barcelona made their way to the final in Champions League this season versus Juventus. Barcelona made an impressive way to the final when they won over PSG in the quarter final and in the semi final. No, they won impressive over FC Bayern Munich, who won last time they challenged each other in the Champions League. On the 6th June, Barcelona and Juventus entered the field in Berlin and Barcelona as the favourite team, of course. If Barcelona wins the final, they will take three trophies this season and be history because they take a triple this season. FIFA. The TV and PC game FIFA are up to a new thing in the next generation. They made women in FIFA 2 and this will be in the next game FIFA 16. Now over to North America. NHL, Tampa Bay won the last semi-final versus New York Rangers and now they are ready for the final. And later tonight Chicago won the last semi-final number 2 versus Anaheim Ducks so now they are ready to play against Tampa Bay in the final. And maybe Chicago are the favorite. And now over to the desk. Wonderful. Now it's time for this weekend's forecast with William. Take it away. Thank you, Alex. Happily, the weather here in London is astonishing. And by the looks of it, it seems that the good weather is here to stay throughout the day. Temperature is at a nice and warm 22 degrees and it will keep around that level throughout the weekend as well. If we move on further south, uh, the, the weather is look, looking a bit worse. Uh, there are reports of rain and a slight risk of thunder around the Southampton area and you might want to bring your umbrella if you're planning on an outside trip. It is quite hot though. The temperature is expected to reach a peak at around 20 degrees with the lowest of 9 degrees. It will get a little bit cold on Sunday though as the low pressure ridge is inbound from the west. I'm sorry. Uh, moving on past London around Cambridge and Birmingham there is a cold front moving in from the northwest. Moving past the island isles and bringing some rain with it. The weather here is otherwise good and uh, tomorrow, Saturday, it might hit the 18 degree mark with the lowest point of 8. If we look at the northern part of Britain, Scotland, there is a storm imminent to strike. An outside meal or a picnic, even driving will not be recommended as the winds here will reach a whopping speed of 33.5 miles per hour. Expect rain in wearing warm clothes as well. Uh, a whole 26 millimeters of rain is predicted and the temperature is around 11 degrees mark as well. The weather will clear up as the weekend progresses and we might see a glimpse of the sun on Saturday, Sunday at the afternoon tea. Beware though, the roads will be very wet and they might be quite slippery so drive carefully. That is this weekend's weather forecast. Run it up Alex. Certainly. 
My name's been Alex. My name's been Tim. Thank, Thank you, you. and good evening.